Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel, Data Driven Decision. In this channel, I talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff. If you are down for that, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos I make for data science. So today's topic is all about the bias and variance trade-off. So if you see very often, you see this particular term called the bias and variance trade-off, and which is very much related to the uh, machine learning, data science, artificial intelligence uh, solutions over there. So what is the bias and variance trade-off? So before understanding the trade-off, we need to understand what is the bias and what is the variance. So bias is nothing but the, the distance between the actual value and the predicted value. Suppose uh, in your data set, there are some values over there. Uh, I think, yeah. So there is some point. Uh, yeah. So there is some point. This, this is the this is the different different points over here. Okay. Uh, okay. This is the different different points, and uh, this is the actual points. And you're predicting some points like this. Okay. So these are the predicted points. Red ones are the predicted. Points. So the bias will be very low if the actual value of the green, actual value of the blue, is as close as close to the red. If the distance is very low, in that case, the bias is very low. And if the distance is very high, then the bias is very high. So suppose the value, actual value is 20, for an example. Okay. And the predicted value is, suppose uh, it is 19. So the distance is very low. In that case, we can tell that the bias is very low. But in that case, suppose the predicted value is around uh, 10. So in that case the bias is very high. So that's the basically the bias. So the predicted value and the actual value difference is the bias. Okay. And the variance is nothing but uh, the chaos in the data. Suppose uh, for a particular use case, suppose there are a certain uh, features you have. Okay, suppose there are certain features you have. Uh, suppose this is the one uh suppose there is a one feature feature one there is a feature two there is a feature three there is a feature four there is a feature five so these are the five features are there and there is another uh, uh there is another uh, output which is the the prediction okay why so this is the uh, so what happened is that as the number of features are very high f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 or the characteristics of the data sets as the characteristics of the data sets is very high the model can learn from the data very well as the model can learn the data very well in that case what happened is that it can predict very well in the training data set so whenever we build the solution we always build the solution in a way like we are training the data uh, training the model for a certain amount of data suppose it's a 80 percent of the data okay and remaining 20 percent you are testing the data set so for 80 percent of the data we try to uh, create the model and if the feature set is very high and the model is very complex in that case what happened is that it learns from the data very well but in the real life scenario suppose for the 20 percent of the data we are just whenever we are applying that particular model because it learned very well in the training data set it is not able to perform very well in the test data set so because the features which is available in the training data set is not as the same as the actual scenario in the real life scenarios so because it's learned very well in the training data set it predict very well for the training data set but whenever you would apply that model into the test data set or validation data set it is not able to perform very well so that is the variance so the as the complexity of the model is very high the variance is very high so in that case what happened is that the bias is very low in the training data set but in the test data set the bias is high so that's the overfitting the scenario is called the overfitting and whenever uh, whenever happened is that the feature set is not very good the model could not understand properly the data set the model complexity is very not very high but 
it is not able to perform very well in the training data set also in the test data set so in that case also we can tell that uh, it's an underfitting model so model could not perform very well in the training data set as well as in the test data set so if i show you this particular diagram over here so you can see this over here it's a it's like a confusion matrix kind of a scenario between the low bias and high variance like bias and variance so over here you can see that this is the low bias okay so here you can see this this is a low bias scenario this is the low variance scenario okay this is a low bias high variance high bias low variance and the high bias and high variance scenario so the ideal scenario could be something like low bias and high low variance okay. so you can see the red is the actual uh, actual value and the blue ones are the predicted value okay and in this particular scenario the bias and variance is almost in the same way like low bias and low variance it is exactly pointed out to the red but in case of the low bias and the high variance scenario you can see that uh, it's a over uh, it's a overfitting kind of a scenario because you can see this over here the variance is very high so the number of points blue points are spreading out over here it is not actually pinpoint pin pinpoint to the uh, low bias over here so this is the low bias and high variance kind of a scenario okay and for the high bias and low variance scenario over here it is called the um, say uh, it's a underfitting kind of scenario over here you can see this the points also go over here like it's a red point with the actual points and the blue points is over here so the distance between these two points is high so it's a high bias and it's a low variance in every scenario and another one is the high bias and high variance so this is over here also you can see the bias is also very high the variance is also very high so the points are spreading out so we always have to avoid this particular two scenarios one is the low bias and high variance scenario okay this is the under uh, this is the overfitting and for underfitting this is the high bias and low variance scenario we always try to over overcome these two so our objective always to overcome these two scenarios and always try to uh, get a value into the low bias and high variance low low bias and low variance scenarios so i think i am able to give you some sort of idea about the what is the bias and variance uh, and what is the trade off between that the trade off is basically nothing but showing you uh, trade off is over here so whenever you see like uh, whenever there is a bias is high the variance is low whenever there is a bias is low variance is high so that is the trade off both of them go hand in hand either one is high other one is low or else the the vice versa the variance is high the bias is low so you have to balance out these together in a machine learning model and that's the challenge for building a model in the real life scenario so i hope you like the video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos i make for data science thanks for watching my videos